The genius that we now know as Tony Siba has predicted electric cars in 2030 will be so cheap that internal combustion engine vehicles will be extinct by 2030. However, we still have a few years to get there. I mean, we're looking at still six years until we get to 2030. And for sort of some proof and evidence that we are on the way towards very, very cheap electric cars, we have companies like Volkswagen, Hyundai or Hyundai, and Tesla saying they're going to make EVs for between twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars within the next one to two years. This is the electric car that Hyundai says it will sell for twenty-two thousand dollars. It's called the Ionic Two, and if it looks anything like this, they'll sell millions of them. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans, and 2024. It's going to be a spectacular year. Electric car prices will continue to come down. What do we see? What do we see in 2023? Without question, we saw the price of internal combustion engine vehicles increase. It increased by five to 10% worldwide. EV prices came down by 10 to 15% worldwide. In some cases, up to 25%, depending on where you're looking. I mean, for example, Tesla's in America have come down by approximately 20% on average. So EV prices, are continuing to come down while internal combustion engine prices are going up. This kind of shows us the disruption is happening and it's going to happen at a quicker pace as the price of EVs continues to fall. Hyundai says it will crack the EV code with a $22,000 electric car. Among legacy automakers entering or manufacturing EVs, not many have consistently produced as many well-reviewed or high quality EVs as Hyundai or Hyundai. Both the Ionic 5 and the Ionic 6 have they've gotten a lot of rave reviews. They're very, very good cars. They're very fast charging. Yeah, they've had a few battery problems, but in general, they're pretty damn good. The Ionic range is set to expand though over the coming years. I've made several videos on the new Ionic models coming this year and next year. However, by far the most interesting car that they will be making will be the Ionic 2. It'll be coming on a new electric car platform. It'll have new motors that are smaller and lighter, cheaper to produce, and new battery packs. The Korean car maker has been open about its intentions to launch an entry-level EV, which will be very, very affordable. In 2022, Hyundai Motor Europe's head of marketing, Andreas Christoph Hoffmann, revealed that the company are working on an affordable EV to rival Tesla's Model 2, the Volkswagen ID2, and Skoda and Cupra versions of the ID2. Plus, of course, there are other cheap electric cars coming from other automakers as well. Stellantis, so they have a $22,000 EV, which is actually going to be out this year, all around Europe. There's, there's quite a few affordable EVs coming in this price range. Hyundai said the target for this vehicle will be a starting price of 20,000 euros. That's, that's 22,000 US dollars. Now, according to exchange rates a year ago, that would actually be 20,000 US dollars. Of course, the euro has appreciated uh, and the US dollar has depreciated in comparison to the euro since then. Here's what the executive from Hyundai said. Everybody in the industry knows the target of this kind of vehicle is 20,000 euros. So what will this Ionic to be? What will it have? It will be built on the company's second generation EV platform, which is reportedly cheaper to make and it weighs less. It's known as the Integrated Modular Architecture or IMA. This platform will replace the current Electric Global Module Platform or EGMP used by the Ionic 5, the Ionic 6, the Kia EV6 and the Genesis GV60 and will be used by 13 new electric cars. So Hyundai are going to build 13 new EVs using this platform between now and 2030. And I'm not talking about 13 individual cars. I'm talking about 13 different models. Hyundai have claimed that the IMA platform represents a big advancement over the eGMP platform. It's technologically far superior, they say. And more importantly than that, though, it will be cheaper to build thanks to greater economies of scale. And of course, the way they're making it apparently is going to be utilizing some interesting technologies such as gigacasting. Gigacasting will make it cheaper to make EVs. Hyundai hasn't done this before. 
but many automakers over the next couple of years will adopt Tesla's gig casting techniques. We know this, they've made, they've already placed orders. I mean, Ford, for example, have placed orders for gig casting machines. Numerous automakers have actually ordered them over the, now, the last six months from IDRA, which is Tesla's supplier in Italy. IMA will also be flexible and it encompasses nearly all vehicle classes, ranging from small and large SUVs, or even all the way up to pickup trucks. So Hyundai basically saying, yes, we will make an electric pickup truck using this same platform. Hyundai has also confirmed it's working on advanced new nickel manganese cobalt or NMC ternary batteries, its own in-house battery pack, so it won't have to use LG Chem's batteries anymore in the future, which is probably a good thing. It's also working on lithium iron phosphate batteries, which will be higher energy density than the LFP batteries you can get in, say, Tesla's and BYD's today. In its future EVs, the price for the battery packs should come down as a result. I mean, there will be no middleman, for example. That's what Hyundai are saying anyway. Probably the biggest reason though for the reduction in price of these new EVs are, well, there's a few things. One, the price of battery packs has come down enormously. It's come down by about 40% over the past 12 months. Massive changes, right? Lithium prices, lithium carbonate prices have come down by 50% over the past 12 months, but there's other changes. Using lithium ion phosphate batteries. Hyundai doesn't currently use those in EVs sold outside of China. So that will help to reduce the price. The new architecture has got to be mass manufactured. Hyundai said they're going to make millions of vehicles using that same architecture. That architecture, the platform, the skateboard essentially will therefore be cheaper to manufacture. And also it's likely to use giga casting should mean that Hyundai can potentially reduce the number of parts. One single giga casting piece in most automotive applications can reduce 100 parts to a single part and also reduce the time to manufacture an EV by approximately 30 to 40%. That brings the cost down. So we don't know any particular details about the Ionic 2 just yet, but those are some of the technologies we know will be in the EV. But getting back to Tony Sieber, his claim is that EVs in 2030 will cost $5,000. Now, he's not saying necessarily the Ionic 2. I believe he's maybe potentially referencing Chinese EVs. They're already $5,000 in China. But if the Chinese automotive companies continue to take more market share, which is what they're doing now, they could potentially manufacture those EVs for even cheaper prices in 2030 and then sell them outside of China. That could be what's happening. And Hyundai know they have to compete with these Chinese automakers. If they don't, well, they're going to be toast. Toyota already knows that it's in big trouble. It's already losing market share to Chinese automotive companies such as BYD. So they're really saying, you know what? We need to invest billions. We need to work out ways to make EVs cheaper. Now, all of this competition is doing one thing. It's forcing companies to innovate. And innovation always benefits the consumer. Guys, let me know what you think about these claims in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.